hello folks welcome to the tuesday forecast so let's get right into looking at the markets first we have the euro and the us dollar and this one is looking it's looking okay nothing spectacular we did have this okay impulse uh ended with a small wick so that's that's a good sign small wicks are not a big concern but one concern is that it is coming from range bound price action so we did have this let me mark it out so we did have this ascending going into a descending structure so that is range bound price action and then we have impulsed up out of that range bound price action i would actually consider taking a long trade right here but what i would need to see i would need to see a nice clean flag so maybe something like this range and then a nice flag then i would consider taking it or maybe if we get a nice descending structure to the entry area the entry area would be the most recent high so let me just see so it would be here this would be the entry level because this would be the most recent high and yeah uh, let's see what will happen so it did not actually break by much looking at it here we broke to the upside so it broke with just one candle but again left a small wick so i am considering looking for a trade uh it as i said it's not really a really really high probability but it does look okay so if you get a nice clear pattern i will consider taking uh, a trade to go long so what i can forecast is if we do push for to the upside i will definitely be looking for a nice continuation pattern or if we do start to ascend like this i will look for a reversal to the downside or if we start to descend i will look for a reversal to the upside something like this if we get a large impulse down then i will search to get in on a flag or any sort of continuation pattern maybe something like this so a break and a retest whatever pattern we get now for the euro and the japanese yen this one is looking range bound so there was this flag right here right about here that i did stay out of because we got a large wick here the entry was close to the high so it did not fit my plan and i did not take a long trade it, it would have been actually a small win but nothing spectacular and then we broke the high retrace, broke the high retrace, and we went from an ascending structure, as you can see, breaking the highs, retracing, breaking the highs, retracing, into a descending structure, and now we broke the high retrace. So we broke this most recent high and left a huge wick retrace. So this is looking very, very range bound. We can see that we are stuck in this flat range. What I'm expecting, I'm expecting to see more of that price action. Today is Tuesday, so range bound price action is to be expected. If we get an ascending into the upper liquidity area, I will look for a reversal. If we get a descending into the lower liquidity area, I'll look for a reversal to the upside, like this. Again, we have the liquidity areas. Let me mark them out right here. What I would really, really like to see in order to look for a trade is a large impulse up, a nice, a nice flag or a large impulse down and then a nice flag to go, a nice flag to go short. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. So currently not showing me anything. This looks, this doesn't look good. I need to see cleaner price action. Uh, and now let's switch over to the Aussie US dollar. This same story. It's looking a range bound. We have this ascending. There was an opportunity to enter on a trade after this impulse, so right here. But for me personally, we got a huge wick. And when I, when I see a huge wick like this, I'm not taking any trades. It's a big, big warning sign we are going to be range bound or that we will actually reverse. And we did reverse. And we are now range bound, so the huge wick is playing out um so yeah we had this ascending structure going into a descending structure now 
which you you know what it signals it signals a larger range and i'm expecting to get something like this in the future and maybe on wednesday or thursday we will start to get some moves so what i am looking for is that nice large impulse up a nice flag or a nice push down look for a, a continuation pattern which is a flag or a break and retest or maybe a descending then a reversal if we do get an ascending like this i will be very very careful because it would then still be sort of be in this larger range and if we get an ascending into a descending into an another into another ascending what usually happens so we usually get this nice clean ascending and then we just continue ranging around which we don't want since we are trend traders we are not uh, range bound traders we are not trading the range we want to see a nice trend we want to see something like this or we can get in on the pullbacks and then for the price to trend uh, let's move on to the final pair so Aussie Japanese Yen what have we got here uh, so what I can see here is that we had this sort of an ascending more looking like range bound price action as I talked about one good sign was that we had uh, we were breaking the highs, leaving wicks, breaking the highs, leaving wicks, breaking, leaving wicks, breaking, just leaving wicks. And then we went into this descending structure. So as all of the pairs, this one is also uh, looking very, very range bound. So except Euro US dollar, that one is looking a bit better than the other ones. But currently just if you squeeze the price action you can see it's just stuck in this area it's not managing to go anywhere it's just kind of stuck and uh, doesn't really know where it wants to go so what i need to see i need to see a really a large push up or a really large push down uh, in order to look for maybe a reversal I would really need to see clean price actions so my advice is do not look for a reversal uh, when we are in this area if you want to look for a reversal make sure the price moves further away from the current price action and then maybe look for a nice reversal because uh, one thing I know on this pair reversals don't really tend to work out I usually focus on getting in on continuations so getting in on on the nice impulses and not really looking for those reversals but if you want you can take reversals i would just say wait for the price to clear this area because currently it's looking very very range bound so yeah that's it for the forecast guys i hope you enjoyed i, ho I hope you took some value uh just be patient sit in your hands I think we will start to get some nice price action, but we need to wait. Uh, May has been really, really slow compared to April, but that's, that usually happens. We usually have one great, great month and then the market kind of slows down, starts to accumulate and then it uh, explodes again and starts trending. Th those are just different market conditions, but uh, we will definitely uh, get some trends soon. It's just a matter of time. They always happen. We just need to be patient and not take too many losses in these range-bound conditions. That's it, and I will see you guys tomorrow.